hello students in this class we'll see what is operating system operating system is a software is a system software we know that we have two types of software system and application software so operating system is a system software which is very very important for a system to work or in other words everything in the system that is happening in your computer whatever you are doing all the things are done with the help of operating system if in case in a computer if there is no operating system then it can't even start you can't do anything in it so operating system is the most important software in any computer and that operating system allows you uh, the rest of the things are just done by the support of operating system only we will see more about it let us now continue so an operating system is an interface between computer user and computer hardware you know we are the computer user and the computer which we have is the computer hardware so how can we interact with the hardware so it's the operating system which form the bridge between user and the hardware and through which we interact with the computer if for in a simple example you can understand if you push the button power button of your computer and if your computer does not have any operating system it will not start you cannot further interact with the computer now on other hand in normal cases what happens when you push the power button then a software starts windows starts linux starts android starts or anything starts okay so these are the operating system now it takes some time to start what it is doing in between these this time why why it take time because during this time it is starting or it is managing it is just arranging everything in a computer or a device so that we could use it now you see window is starting welcome and all and then finally it starts and then we open any application and we start working and we save our files if it's not needed we delete it we copy it we use internet we use lot of things so see how it is started uh, any some or one operating system is behind this in laptops or desktop you may find uh, windows or even linux is there unix a lot of operating systems are there we'll see just now we'll see so we need to have some operating system then only we can do our work so it allows you to interact with the hardware an operating system is a software which perform all the basic tasks like file management memory management process management handling input and output and controlling peripheral devices such as test drives and printers and other devices so memory management is there file management is there if you'll see these things you'll find that almost all the things comes within this so this is how operating system works this is what an operating system is okay one more thing i would like to add here is all the all the devices all the computing devices maybe it be a desktop a laptop or a palm top like tablets or mobile phones and even smaller devices or even bigger devices all these devices even super computer every kind of computer you know all the types of computer micro computers still super computers all of them need an operating system without operating system they can't work at all okay you should keep this mind very clear this is point in very clear in your mind okay so all the devices need this operating system so it doesn't mean that we have only one or two operate we have variety of operating system with us for different devices and we use them so let us so this is what now let me show you the different operating systems look at this window is one of the operating system the most widely used operating system over the desktops or laptops linux is another operating system unix is the variation of uh, linux in a say it's a freeware freeware matlab you can get it for free android is another operating system which you see in the normal smart general normal smartphones ios is another operating system for smartphones 
मेड बाय एप्पल कंपनी एप्पल एप्पल स्मार्टफोन्स वी हैव आईओएस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द सेम वे एप्पल लैपटॉप्स हैव मैक ओएस इन देम ubuntu is another variation of uh, uh, linux so if you want to know more about the operating systems then you may go further and just see a uh, lot of uh, lo long list is there you may just uh, give some time so you can get the idea behind the these all operating systems are there okay so but otherwise the more most common operating systems are windows linux mac ios android these are the common operating systems now we'll see more about uh, need and function of operating system why do we need and what are the functions of uh, operating system okay so let us see goal of operating system the fundamental goal of a computer system is to execute user program and to make task easier beside everything the main goal of operating system is to execute the user program is a program is whatever program we wish to execute as i said uh, if you are a if you are an engineer you would like to have a program for engineering work if you are an art artist you need to have a program for video editing or for uh, photo editing you have software if you are a uh, accountant there are lot of softwares for accounting if you are a writer you have ms word and other softwares for writing if you are a publisher then we have lot of softwares for... so like this we have various softwares or programs but we need we need to have what an operating system where these can run okay and operating system makes our task easier okay various application programs along with hardware system are used to perform this work now try to understand various application program along with hardware system are used to perform the which work this work our task this our task is done with the help of software as well as various hardware are there to make our task easier operating system is a software which manage and control the entire set of resource and it effectively utilize every part of the computer os is designed in such a way that it utilizes optimally everything uh, in the system in the computer so this figure shows how act with uh, the os acts as a medium between hardware unit and the application program this is user 1 2 3 this we are the user and this box indicates the system and application program these are various system program and application programs this database is a application program text editor is an application program assembler and compiler the system program so these are various programs and then operating system comes and then hardware comes so we this way interact with hardware and operating system is the bridge between uh, this everything that is happening so in, uh, operating system where is important need of operating system why we need operating system os as a platform for application program as discussed operating system provide a platform on top of which other program called application program run means for any application program we must have operating system and over it only the application work and yes we have different operating systems so why we have different operating system now the simple answer to this question may be we have varieties of cars with us there is not only one company which is making car and <clears throat> we have different choices somebody like mercedes somebody like audi somebody like maruti somebody like tata so we have different choices and the same way we have different choices for the operating system whichever operating system you like to use you just have it from market you can purchase it so that's how but all the vehicles the same way the all the vehicles are almost similar the same way all the operating systems are also similar It means if you have uh, if you are habituated with windows operating system then you will find mac os also easy to use if you are working with android then you can find uh, blackberry is always also uh, just quite familiar they are all similar <coughs> it acts as an interface between the computer and the user it is designed in such a manner that it 
operates, controls, and executes various applications on the computer. So why we need operating system to run different application programs? Okay. For managing input output unit, operating system also allows computer to manage its own resources such as memory, monitor, keyboard, printer. All kind of input output unit is also managed by the operating system. Everything that you see. Consistent user interface. Operating system uh, provide user an easy to work user interface. It means that. When you start Windows operating, so what do you find? Every you find everything in the front. You double click something and open it to work it, work with it. So operating systems are designed in such a way that any user should not find it very tough to work with. They are designed to in such a way that anyone can interact. Now see now, a smartphone. Let's take a, a smartphone, Android operating system. All kind of people are running the smartphone. All those who have studied. Who are who are illiterate? They also operate the operating system. Why they can operate that kind of machine? Because that is designed in a simpler way. The, this is made in a simple way, so so that they could uh, easily, I mean, operate that. So why it is because because of the interface they are providing to us. So this is another reason we need operating system for handling the device uh, easily. So multitasking. Another thing is operating system manage memory, memory and uh, uh, allow multiple programs to run in their own space. This simply is telling. It is the operating system which allows a computer to handle multitasking. At one time, we can do a lot of things. Like now, I'm just uh, using internet. Now, if you want to type something, I can start typing software. Or I want to make program. I can start coding editor. If you want to open any other program, I can open Excel also. So at one time I have opened multiple programs. Okay, so this is called multitasking. More, it, this is the operating system which is allowing to open multiple programs. Okay, in earlier days uh, when processors were not that developed, then we were having only single tasking operating system where we can open only one program at a time. You will see this about this also when you will see some more. So let us see some more about function of operating system. Processor management. Processor is what the CPU. Okay. So how it manages? Look, this deals with management of central processing unit. The operating system take care of allotment of CPU time because we have in normal microcomputers we have one CPU, and uh, we have lot of things to work. So how the CPU? Gives time to all the works in multitasking. If you are working with lot of programs, so it is the operating system which take care of these all these things. So the operating system take care of the allotment of CPU time to different processes. Processes means the different tasks that we are doing. When a process finishes its CPU, its CPU processing after execution of the allotted time period, this is called scheduling. When a process finishes its CPU processing after executing for allotted time period, this is called scheduling. Means if you are running multiple programs, then time is allotted. That this much time CPU will give to this first program, then this much time this will give to the second program, and like this. So in that given time, uh, processes are executed. So all these things are time scheduling. Okay. So there are various type of uh, scheduling techniques that are used by operation like shortest job first. These are all scheduling techniques. Means. If operating system is following this technique, then it it does what process which need the shortest CPU time are executed first. They are given the suppose uh, in a queue, ten people are standing and each one of them at least will take thirty minutes of their work. But among them, somebody came that I have only work of ten seconds. Just I have to ask something. It will take only ten seconds. And he has came in the last, but it will take only or he will take only ten seconds. So if this uh, scheduling is being followed by the CPU, then he will be given the allotted time. Oh, come in, ask and go. I'll handle rest of the job afterward. So this is shortest job first. This is this technique which is followed by the operating system. Round robin scheduling. What it does? Each process is assigned fixed CPU time. If we have ten processes, then all of them are allotted fixed time, and uh, they just Fixed time means a fixed time slot in milliseconds, 
just like 10 milliseconds for first and then 10 milliseconds like this. Then after 10 milliseconds or of the allotted time slot, even though the task is finished or not, it switched to the next task. After that allotted time, it switched to the next task. And this is how this round robin scheduling goes like. Priority-based scheduling. Means in this scheduling, process are scheduled according to their priorities. Highest priority process are scheduled first. Obvious and very easy to understand. Means the zaruri kaam hai, wo pehle hoga, jo gair zaruri hoga, baad hoga. Ye sab priority operating system is set karta hai. So, <clears throat> another function of operating system is device management. All kind of devices, operating system comes with hardware, attached device, and all kind of devices, input output device, and other devices are just managed. Buffering is also done. What is buffering? You have seen this. What is buffering? In this technique, <clears throat> input and output data is temporarily stored in input buffer or output buffer. If something has to be inputted or something has to be outputted, then once the <clears throat> signal of input or output is sent to or from the CPU, means if a CPU wants some kind of input or a CPU wants some kind of output, then the signal for input or output is sent from the CPU. Then the operating system through the device controller moves the data from input device to the input buffer. We are using a keyboard for inputting, then whatever we are typing, it directly doesn't go to the uh, CPU. While we are inputting, CPU is doing some other work, but the input we are doing goes to the input buffer that stores the input. And for the output device to the output buffer. And if somebody we want to uh, send for output, like for uh, in printer, if you want to, or even in a uh, monitor, then basically in printer, if you want to print something, 100 jobs I want to give or 10 jobs to print, then it keeps in the output buffer. And one by one, it prints. So, means this is how the input buffer is some space where it keeps the things, it buffers and keeps the things. It's pooling. It's, it means simultaneous peripheral operation on line. What is, does this mean? Let us read it. This is a device management technique used for processing different tasks on the same input device or output device. Alag-alag task, ek input output device se. When there are various users on a network sharing the same resource. Agar network mein bahut sare user hai, ek hi resource ko uh, share kar rahe, let us take example of printer. Then it can be possible that more than one user might give a command uh, at the same point of time. So, ho sakta hai, 10 log in network mein kaam kar rahe, ki printer hai, sabhi log print ke liye command de di hai. Then what? So, the operating system temporarily stores data of every user on the hard disk of the computer to which resource is attached. And then, individual user need not to wait for the execution to be completed. Instead, the operating system send the data from hard disk to the resource one by one. Wo ek ek karke fir printer ko bhejte jayega, printer apna kaam karte jayega, user ko tension lani zara doi, apna kaam kar jayega. Chika? Another is memory management, jaha par har tarah ka memory, chahe wo secondary memory ho, chahe wo primary memory ho, so memory is uh, managed. So, we'll see some uh, more points about operating system in our next class. Thank you for today.